so before this video starts, I just want to clearly state, you anyone could have their opinion. I'm just giving my opinion on who is the better player. Shout out to SK Boy and Electros BM1, by the way. Those are the two people in the debate. Welcome back, guys, to another video. And here we'll be having, actually, discuss, just this discussion about Dwayne Wade and Scotty Pippen. So a few days ago, actually, no, sorry, yesterday, um, me and my brother and my two friends were at a at my friend's pool. My brother decided to show them his top 50 NBA list. He had Dwayne Wade in front of Scottie Pippen. And my two friends were like, no way, Scottie Pippen's way better. Um, why Dwayne Wade is just overall a better player than Scottie Pippen. One day, yeah. I'ma have it one day. Go. One day, Wait. we gon' get it one day. day. Fuckin' on your bitch. Yeah. Early morning, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. come on, Dre. One day, nigga, one day, y'all, you gon' get- So first, right, so Scottie he was the second option in his whole career. Like, he was the second option, but the people are saying, probably people in the comments are probably gonna say, the one way was the second, the third option. Alright, just don't say third option, because we all know he's earning Chris Bosh. And that was for three years, before, like, eight years before that, he was by himself, leading his team to playoffs, actually one year that he led his team to a championship. And, and let's talk about all-star appearances. Scottie Pippen made has seven All Star appearances to Dwayne Wade's thirteen All Star appearances. Finals MVPs: Scottie Pippen's none. To Dwayne Wade's one. All NBA teams: Scottie Pippen's seven to Dwayne Wade's eight. And Dwayne Wade was a better scorer, better finisher. Okay, Pippen might have been better at defense. I'm gonna look at the defensive stats actually. When we get steals and blocks, he averaged point five more steals. I'm no mathematician, but 0. .5, that's like, that's that's nothing. The game, they average the same amount of blocks. He only averaged one more rebound. And the better offense player by far is Dwayne Wade. Pause the video and read that. And my friend said, it's not even close, Scotty Pippen's better. Eight years he led his team to playoffs. And one of the years, yeah, like I said, he won a championship by himself. Scotty Pippen, right when Michael Jordan left the Bulls, they were trash, and Scotty Pippen was still on the team. But before LeBron James went to the Heat, they won a championship. So that proves that Dwayne Wade's better than Scottie Pippen. Does it not? Big my pardon, their best seasons, actually, Dwayne Wade averaged more blocks. So if Scottie Pippen's supposed to be the better defender here, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. No, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it at all. Dwayne Wade averaged, like, 14 more points than him. That's a lot. Scottie Pippen only averaged a little for defense. So that... Big difference. Dwayne Wade's field goal percentage was better. I don't know, but all the reasons I'm giving, I'm starting to think that Scottie Pippen might be an overrated defender. Is that is that only me? Put it in the comments. I don't know if that's only me, but I'm starting to think he might be a little overrated. I don't know. People are saying Dwayne Wade got more help because he had two. They were in Michael Jordan's what? He had two for three years. He had Michael Jordan for what? Six. My bad. Eight years. For 13 years. <laughs> oh, my bad. 13. Dwayne Wade was an overall more talented player. The people that say defense is everything, those are just the wannabe wise people. Debate me in the comments. Next time someone asks you who's better, Scotty Pippen, Dwayne Wade, you know what, you know what to say.